Very good tip there. Oh, you're tiny. Oh, you're adorable. I love the teddy bear on your back. Jasmine, Trudy's daughter, delivery girl. Hi, I'm Jasmine. I was delivering your sample newspaper. If you like reading it, just go to the newsstand near City Hall to subscribe. Then you'll get each issue in the mail. Oh, hey, I'll bet it's hard moving to a new place. I know this time at the back of my hand. Let me show you around. I'm super good at tour guide. I know lots of stuff about Sandbox. Okay. Yeah, cool. The Jasmine Co. official Sandbox tour is now beginning. Our first stop will be the wandering... Wondering why Yakmel Ranch. It's an interesting one. Miguel? I'll, I'll talk to you guys later. I, I'm, I'm just trying to keep up with the little one right now. Oh, yeah, I've got some more fun. Oh, we'll talk to Miguel later. Passengers, please look ahead and notice Mr. Cooper and Mrs. Mabel and Elsie's house. They have a really big ranch. That means they can get milk for everyone. Maybe some other stuff too. Oh, you can see the Yakmel over there. I like to say hi to them every day. Sometimes they even say hi back, but it sounds like me. I think they sell stuff that you could use to take care of animals here. That might be useful for you, huh? On to the next stop, please keep your hands and feet inside the imaginary vehicle. Well, this imaginary vehicle kind of breaks a lot. Actually, no, it's kind of like um, a snakey bus. Snake bus. I used to ride on those to university in the past. Those were always fun to be on. Although they caused quite a few traffic jams around, uh, when we went around the roundabout. What's a nice little uh, reserve thing? Ta-da! This is Martel's Oasis. Miss Martel was the first mayor of Sandrock and she found this oasis a long time ago. We all drink this water so don't step in it. In the middle you can of course see a statue of Mr. Peach. One day I hope I can invent something really cool like Peach did. The big water tower over there is where we keep extra water. Mr. Burgess takes care of it and you can get some from him if you give him some money. Oh hey, that reminds me. Do you know what the official town slogan is? Minister Matilda came up with it. And now everybody says it all the time. Wow, yeah, that's right. You got it. You must have done your homework. I'd give you a sticker, but I don't have it. Conserve water. That's our slogan. If we run out, um, I guess we'll have to go live somewhere else. So we should say our slogan a lot to help people remember this concludes the Martel Oasis Park of Tour. For our next stop, we will be visiting Fabulous City Hall. I was at City Hall yesterday. Also, what did Peach invent? You never said. What did Peach invent? Do not... What did I say? Do not... Siphon water? Oh. I didn't mean to do that. The first thing you will notice about City Hall is that it's very big. Grown-ups often go into this building and talk a lot. My ma works here when she isn't going out into the desert. Aunt Heidi also works next door. She builds bridges and it, bridges. She builds bridges and upgrades houses and stuff. Say, isn't that the same job as you? What's the difference? Oh, by the way, from the station to here is the main street of San. Arvio's store, Grandma Vivi's clothes shop, Mr. Owen's saloon, and uh, Mr. Pablo's parlor. Yeah, they're all on the street, so you can definitely go shopping here when you have time. Moving right along. Where are we going now? You you, you tend to uh, it, announce where we're going. You could be dragging me into Death Valley or something. We are in the desert after all. For the next stop on our tour, please bring your attention to right over there, where you'll see the beautiful Church of the Light Temple. It looks kind of similar to the first one, actually. Most of us come here every Sunday to sing and listen to Minister Matilda tell us not to do bad stuff. My favourite songs are ones about Peach. You should come next time. And this is the last stop on the tour. If you follow the path on the right, you'll find Research Centre and the Golden Goose. Um, I think that's it. This place is pretty big, you should look around when you have downtime. Again, what did Peach do? This concludes the very special Desmond Co. tour. That's enough walking for today. So, what do you think of your new home? <laughs> I wonder if anyone's been mean enough to say it's awful. Yeah, I think so too. A lot of people don't like this place so much, but you do. So I think that means we can be good friends. Oh, we can be good friends too, Jasmine. I'm happy about that. Anyway, I'm sure you have lots of things to build. As for me, I need to go to Aunt Katori's game centre for business. Come join me if you get time. Uh, you're a little kid going to a game centre. Somehow I highly doubt you're going there for business. Oh, no, I need to go this way. Go away. 
Can you take full damage in this game? No. Brilliant. Oh, there was a chest there. Oh, never mind. So, okay, they have hidden chests like in the first game. That's cool. Ah, hello, found one. Copper stick. Ah. See, in the first game, you had chests, and if you found the chests, you got hidden items and stuff, which was pretty handy. So, if I'm. Is this Mian's workshop? I'm betting it is. So, if you see me. Ooh, I'm lost. If you see me randomly going around strange places, you'll know that I'm looking for a chest. But we'll focus on the game itself rather than just it. Oh, it's you again. Say, since I've got you, did I ever explain the commission board to you? I already know how the commission board works, but because a lot of people watching this might not, we'll go through it again. Phew. Alright, then newbie, listen up, because I don't want to have to repeat myself. The most important commissions that I'll need you to do, what? Don't you worry about that. I'll make sure you know about those. Rocky's crane lift, for example. But for everything else, there's the Commerce Guild Commission Board inside the Guild. Townsfolk post less urgent commissions there. You should pick those up right away. Good for you, good for the guild. Each commission gets a star rating. One star means it's easy. Five stars means it's for pros only. Want to feel the glory and reap the rewards of five star commissions? Go to the bottom and build up your workshop, equipment and reputation. Excuse you, lady. Since you're a newbie, you can only take one per day. Finish it up quick. Then pick up a new commission. What is that in the background? Okay then. Then pick up a new commission the next day. As you raise your star rating, you'll be able to take on multiple commissions per day. At the end of the year, we here at the guild count up who's been doing what around town and divvy out awards to the top performers. The rewards for taking first place are pretty sweet, uh, but I wouldn't concern yourself with that so much. I mean, I've never lost her. <laughs> Yeah, but you're not a builder anymore, are you? Well, that about does it. Got everything? Yep. That's good, newbie. You listen to speech as well. I dare say you have middle management written all over you. See you around. Is that a compliment or an insult? Anyway, so let's take a look at the commission board whilst we're here. Wait, where do I? Ah! Here it is. The Commerce Guild of Sandrock puts commissions on the com commission board. Bigger rewards are given for commissions of a higher rank. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. One year, two months, four days. That one's a stone sword. Well, the ex expire things are really... Is that like the, the in-game day? Because these would be like really easy to actually just do. Alright, 140, 110, 109, 144. We'll do this one. Please finish the commission before the due date. Okay. Yeah, it is me being a little bit of an idiot. So, the thing I read refers to the actual finish date, rather than how long you've got to do it. Yeah, okay, it's been a while since I've played the first game. I may have made a mistake again. I may very well have just chosen a commission that I may or may not be able to do, but we'll see. that ant just sneezed at me. Yeah, you guys didn't see anything. So... Yakmel horns, copper bars. We have enough stone by the looks of it. How on earth do I get... Are you Yakmel? Yakmel, Yakmel. Okay, you're a level 6 Yakmel. You're a hot chick. Oh! Okay, so red is attack. Okay, red's attack. Ooh. Oh. You want so hard. Oh, we got firecrackers? Okay. Oh, you were sitting on top of a. Oh, I'm, I'm stuck, I'm stuck. <laughs> Ow! You gonna charge at me again? Huh? You gonna charge? You gonna charge? Ooh! Ow, ow, ow. Roly poly oly. Woo. I love how the other Yakimel just like. Hey, come back here. Ow, you were waiting for me to do it. I 
also a little bag cleaned up because I was like, I didn't get a horn. I got yet more hair and damaged Bama. You feel us salvage and play. You know, we're all minus for a reason. Benty told me a story the other day. It was crap. Peck sang me a song once. It was crap. <laughs> Faye drew me a picture. It was crap. Crap, 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 crap. Rocky's pretty good at cross five, though. You don't think much of your job, do you, Van Contract? There's a lot of writing. You know, I actually think it'd be a cool idea if you could bring over your save files from the first game and then you play as a child. Seven, five, okay. Um, I think it'd actually be pretty cool if you could play the child of um, your characters in the first game. We've got 190 gold, so we had some we could just use. Okay. Okay, so that's that. Uh, what else do we need? Quartz? What'd you get from rocks? 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 Can I? That's drifting. I s didn't he say earlier you could just use the pick, uh, pick hammer to go through driftwood? But yeah, I might end up regretting um, buying those. I'm pretty sure I need to save the goals for something to start with. Come on, Z. Okay, so it's a lot like the first game where you have um, some creatures will outright attack you and some will be passive. Sorry, I got a meeting to go to. Some will chase you? No, go away, please. Uh, some will chase you if you're uh, close to them. Oh, tumbleweeds. Um, but mo majority of them are neutral unless you start attacking them first. Well, I'm going to be late for that meeting. <laughs> I am already late by 